Welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi, my name's Tim and today we're doing a walk around video of our 2011 uh, FJ Cruiser Toyota. In this video we're going to go around the outside and have a look at this uniquely styled vehicle. These cars are designed for off-roading, that's why they've got such clear um, approaching angles from here at the front, so when you're approaching an obstacle there's nothing to stop the wheels from overcoming them. We've got a bit of a, a gap here in the hood which helps get some cool air into the engine bay. With a nice big grille at the front with Toyota and really bright headlights, this car in black is just looking quite good as well. You've got the nice silver to sort of break it apart. There are a couple of light stone chips on the front of this, but uh, nothing to be too concerned about, especially being a, uh, a 20, 2011 vehicle as well. There's another one over here. Being a 2011 vehicle as well, this car already looks so good. You just can't avoid a couple of stone chips here and there, but otherwise this car's fantastic. Have a look at the first wheel. We've got these awesome, uh, unique premium alloy wheels uh, with the darker silver against the, the lighter chromey color. They really look quite well against the black. A couple of little marks just around the rim, but nothing too serious going on there. And what appears to be a brand new tire as well. Looking at the first mirror, we've got the same silver color just sort of throughout the car. And this is a two-tone two car. So we've got the black car with the white roof as well. Now we do have these silver door handles here on the side and a nice protective rock rail bar down here on the bottom if you do choose to go off-roading. Now I'll show you how we open up these doors here because we've got this front door that opens and we've got suicide opening doors at the back. So you just pull on the lever and pull that open and it opens up the whole interior of the car, really making it so easy to access those back seats. The back seats do fold down flat as well, so if you just want to store things in the back, that's entirely possible. This car is fitted with a vinyl flooring to make cleaning so much easier as well if you do want to use this vehicle for off-roading purposes. So just closing up that part of the car, we'll have a look at our second rim. This room is in fantastic condition. There's just a light hairline scratch on it, but otherwise that's about it. And once again, a practically brand new tire. On the back, we've got these nice bright tail lights, the same silver theme going along. And we do have rear color-coded color uh, parking sensors right there on the back. And we do have a genuine Toyota tow bar fitted to this vehicle. With our spare tire sitting on the back of the, uh, the boot, this boot does open like a barn door. So it opens up sideways rather than up to the top. Inside the back here, it's all plastic and vinyl, very, very well protected as well, which is really nice to see. A lot of storage air, area, a couple of light scratches here, and two 12 volt outlets as well on the, uh, on the driver's side of the vehicle. And you do have your, your restraints, anchor points, sorry, for child seats in the back, just mounted there at the back. Notice that those seats are plastic on the back, so when they fold down flat, the whole back of the car is protected from whatever you want to put in there. So it's really easy to close this door, just give it a bit of a push, and it does pulls itself closed as well. So we do have a reverse camera in the back, just pointing that out in the spare tire as well. We've got our fuel filler cap over here on the passenger side. We at our third rim once again, brand new tire with very light scratching on the edge of the rim, otherwise this car is in very good condition. Being a black car, this car presents pretty well. There are some very light hairline scratches here. Um, I reckon most of those would probably polish out as well. Once again, opening up the other side with the suicide doors. I'll show you where that handle is just quickly. So you've got the handle just here. That's what you pull on to release the uh, back part of the door. Just look how good condition this is as well. This car has just been very, very well looked after. Closing the back and then the front, and uh, away you go. We've got our side indicator here in the uh, driver's panel. And then just down here, brand new tire with a little bit of marking on it. Otherwise, it's just brilliant condition. So right now, I'm gonna pop the uh, bonnet and we're gonna have a look at our four liter V6 engine that is powering this vehicle along. So under here, pull on the uh, release the release tab on the uh, driver's side, come around to the front and then lift it up and the gas, strut, the gas struts do the rest of the work for you. So there it is, our four liter um, engine. Now this V6 engine will put out 200 kilowatts of power and 380 newton meters of torque. Behind this engine, we do have a five-speed automatic gearbox and the 4x4 driving system. So paired with all of that, with the 72-litre tank, you can get 11.4 uh, litres per 100k fuel economy or an average of 632 kilometres from a full tank of fuel. This car also is pretty safe with the six airbags. Combine that towing hitch on the back with electric brakes and you can tow 2.25 tonnes easily. All right, so now moving to the interior of our FJ Cruiser. The interior is in such good condition, it's surprising. Like this car's done 126,000 Ks, but the previous owner must have been meticulous because this car is just so well looked after and the service history just goes along with that as well. So starting at my right here, we do have our electric window controls with our electric window lock and door locking button. I don't know how well we're gonna be able to see it, but I'll turn the wheel to the right. Got our side mirror controls here, as well as our dimming switches and fog light controls. On the right control arm, we've got our headlight switch and our indicators. On the left control arm, we've got our front and 
and rear windscreen wipers. We've got our tilt uh, lever for our steering wheel and our cruise control just down here. On the right we've got our Bluetooth voice control and answer phone buttons and our media skip and volume buttons here on the left. Steering wheel itself is leather wrapped, very comfy to hold with no wear on it whatsoever. Even the dash is showing no wear. Moving now to the center of the car, up here we do have some navigation tools. So we've got our temperature as well in here, our compass and our longitude and latitude uh, guide here. So when you do your off-roading, it is very, very easy to tell where you are. Those are very handy to have in a car that's built for this sort of functionality. Just down from that, we do have our time. And moving down one step further, we do have our radio system, which has got, uh, it's got a little bit of Bluetooth with it, six stack of CD player, as well as radio, AM, auxiliary port, USB. It's got a lot of stuff going in there as well. Uh, just moving down from that, we do have our full uh, air conditioning controls. It's quite warm today, so I have turned on the air conditioning and it's working very, very well. That is icy cold coming out of there. Just under here, we've got our rear diff lock button as well as our, uh, our traction control, our A track button, and as well as our parking sensor on and off button, which is really handy to have, especially if you're going off roading uh, and you want to just turn them off because they're annoying you. We've got a 12 volt socket just here. We've got one cup holder in the front next to our high low, uh, high low, four high, two high. Uh, nice selector here for our four-wheel drive system. Our five-speed automatic shifter next to a handbrake and a second cup holder here. We've got these armrests which go up and down. As well as in here, we've got our storage right in the middle, which is really good to see. So now I'm just gonna get you to pan around the inside a little bit. I'm gonna start going through the service history. Like I said, this car has done 126,000 Ks. It's in beautiful condition. Um, I haven't seen much like this before. Uh, this car had two services done prior to its first service. So it had a service done at 3,000 Ks, another one done at six. And then after that, every service uh, never missed by more than 1,000 Ks. So we had 10, uh, I've skipped it already just with my fingers. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. Um, and yeah, it's done 100, 126,000 K. So everything has been done just to the T by the book. Uh, if you, This is just such a uniquely styled car. Everyone knows an FJ Cruiser when they see one. It's in beautiful condition, especially for the age and Ks it's in. You gotta come down and see it for yourselves. Take it for a drive. This is a great car to drive around and feel like a rock star in. So please call us on 9907 and one of our friendly staff will be happy to help with your inquiry.